Hello, so if we, the first step that we have to take, if we want to get this kind of result here uh, that you see in front of you in Unreal Engine, so we have uh, this kind of ability to work interactively and to move around and things like that. Um, the first thing we need to do is have our 3D model to come in. So that's where this little SketchUp file comes in, which uh, is uh, fantastic to have. And of course, you can download all of that from 3D Warehouse, and there's a huge wealth of 3D models that you can have there absolutely free, which is uh, not to be ignored. So the first thing that you're going to have to do if you want to use Datasmith for Unreal, uh, for SketchUp, in order to export to Unreal, is of course download the plugin that you'll have using this URL here from US, uh, from Unreal Studio, and you will have to use the SketchUp importer. Of course, it will be the same with 3ds Max and Revit. And if you are a Rhino user, you can export straight from, well, you can import straight from Rhino without using Datasmith. So that's the uh, sort of slight constraint here. And, uh, but that's fine. We'll just use Datasmith and it actually makes things much quicker on import. It's very, very powerful. So here's this little house from Mise van der Rohe, which is uh, absolutely lovely, but <laughs> apparently turned out a bit of a nightmare for the client. I, uh, I was reading up about it, but what we'll have typically in a file like this, and this is not a criticism on anybody, it's always like that, especially uh, in the kind of uh, professional world, things get a bit messy and we uh, have we would typically have everything on these just the one layer all the the furniture the house the landscape everything so that is going to cause a problem that when we export using datasmith we will have one file uh, one datasmith file if we just oh, export everything just like this all in one go and that will be uh, give us trouble if we need to re-import the model because then we'll have to re-import everything. So uh, Datasmith does take into account internally in Unreal, it's very clever, but this will definitely make our life easier to simply go ahead and uh, separate it out into uh, little different layers that make sense. And that's very quickly done. And uh, it's even if you don't know uh, SketchUp, which is um, my case, I'm not, uh, I usually have been using 3ds Max for 20 years, but again, I use uh, 3D House Warehouse for, um, for downloading projects. So this is a really good way to start. We'll even hide the landscape. And uh, using that, we can start exporting our first layer to uh, Datasmith. So we'll call that uh, Farnsworth House. So here, I, I did it earlier. So I have this name here, and then we can just call it House, and so on. And so I'll do that. I've already done it. So you can do it at your end, and you can do the same uh, with the uh, block and with the curtains and with the furniture. So each time the very convenient thing in uh, this export plugin is that it only exports whatever is visible. So that's very, uh, very useful. Okay, so now we'll, uh, next video, we'll go into Unreal and start importing the uh, the house.